Welcome back to Arise Entertainment 360. Now, just in case you didn't make it to any New York Fashion Week shows, have no fear. Supermodel Cicely Lopez went behind the catwalk with a look at the week that was. Take a look. Cecily Lopez here at Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week reporting for Arise Entertainment 360. We're going to be talking to models, celebrities, designers like Zang Toy, Michael Costello, and Layla Rose, and much, much more. There's a, a new direction on our House of Toy Runway. You know, I'm known for my certain signature shapes and a lot of beautiful colors. Since this is an Italian collection, I want to keep it simple but yet make a stunning statement so it's the first no non-color collection the whole collection is made up of taupe brown black and metallic bronze for the evening so it's a lot more simpler it's a lot of new silhouettes waxing you never seen before on the house of toy runway I've been working with Zeng for about a uh, few years now, since 2009. And, you know, every season, Zeng made me a new woman. You know, I learned about myself, I learned about my beauty, and it's always a pleasure to be here, you know, working with Zeng. We're backstage at Lila Rose Show, and we're going to talk to some of the models to see how they survive Fashion Week. Hi, my name's Harriet. I am 19 years old and I'm with Women in New York. How have you been surviving Fashion Week? Because we've been seeing you everywhere. I have been drinking a lot of water, taking Uber everywhere, <laughs> and avoiding the cold. <laughs> Do you have any beauty secrets? Um, I try to take all of my makeup off before I sleep and I drink too much water. How many shows have you walked this season? Um, so far I have done 11 shows and I have a few fittings today, so I don't know. So are we going to be seeing you in London, Milan, and Paris as well? Yes, sadly, yes. <laughs> this collection is really interesting. It's rooted in the Old West. I spend a lot of time out in Wyoming, and there's a lot of kind of that visual vocabulary of fringe and feathers and beaded feather motifs, but then it takes a very modern turn. These are all new techniques, and you really haven't seen a lot of fabrics like this. Lila Rose is one of the most talented American designers, and I love that she creates clothes for ladies who like to get dressed up. I think so many women have lost the art of getting dressed up, but I still love those ladies who get dressed, and like, they get dressed to do the most ordinary thing, like go to lunch, the ladies who lunch. I think it's so divine that she creates clothes for those women. The Paul 15 inspiration comes from uh, William Butler Yeats' muse, who was Maud Gaunt. She was a political activist from Ireland, and she was beautiful. She was an actor, too. Uh, we all know Yeats' points, but we, I didn't know who was behind it, who inspired him all his life. And I found out about this incredible woman whose uh, strength and courage and power really stirred something in me. And so that's what I wanted to channel through this uh, collection. I've always been a huge fan of Bibu's, only be, not from just a design standpoint, but his craftsmanship, his aesthetic. It's just, it, it just is so luxe, and it's it's the true, you know, luxurious woman. We're backstage at Michael Costello's show. This is the hottest show of the season. So follow me, and I'm going to take you around, and we're going to have a great time. Uh, the inspiration for the collection is Japanese. Um, soldiers and Japanese warriors but you know more minimal and more toned down a little bit so you don't you get a combination of the really hard but the really soft and feminine edge because there's also some Parisian elements into the collection with the romantic um, French lace and the romantic you know makeup and everything it's just a beautiful collection it's my first debut of men's collection we're huge fans of Sean Ross, so we see that he's walking in he's your my show. Good friend. He's walking in my show. I'm, I'm super excited to be like, it's kind of like history. Michael Costello has been doing it, you know, from Beyonce to literally everybody. And Jen, just the simple fact that, you know, that I'm here walking one of his first men's looks is like crazy. There you have it. We saw celebrities, spoke to designers, we spoke to models, Sean Ross. And it's been incredible. Cecily Lopez signing out for Arise Entertainment 360. 
<laughs> that nice was job. awesome. Cicely did a great job. And yeah. She's a model as well and mm. did well as a host. Like yeah. a bird. Hit the runway. Yeah. All right. So which one of the styles did you like? They all kind of looked amazing. Michael right? Costello. Of course. He had some gorgeous, gorgeous gowns. Mm. And I like that there was a lot of texture. Um, mm. The designers were playing around a lot with, with yeah. patterns and textures and okay. various different types of fabric. I yeah. like that too. I like Lila Rose's stuff too. She had a nice little ensemble of collection she put together. Did. So that's pretty hot. And Milan, of course, has been going on. It yeah. ends today. Ends Paris today. starts in two days. Yeah, so, on Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, it's a lot more it fashion just keeps to look on forward going. to. A it lot never more ends. <laughs> <laughs> it never ends. All right, and but unfortunately, glad. our show is ending right now. <laughs> but we'll be back tomorrow, so don't worry. We will. We'll <laughs> see you then. Bye, guys. Thank <laughs> you.